Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days, watch a new reading. Um, you could also look at different parts of your chart and that will give you a more complete energetic profile or even look around on the Monday readings because the format or style of reading is different every week. So like one week I do a Celtic cross, another week I do pick a card. There's a love reading, all kinds of variety there. I do want to thank everybody for your support from watching the readings, hitting that like button, and of course, subscribing. I appreciate it all. This is so much fun. We will keep going. And if you if you like tarot and you like this channel and you haven't subscribed, love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right. What advice do you have for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, please? What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay. So we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. Oracle cards here, too. Well, you've got the sun. You've got the five of wands. The world, the empress. The Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Fool. Beautiful reading, my God. That's really powerful with four major arcana. Well, you've definitely got something here. I mean, this is the kind of energy that revolutionizes your life. It's an incredible energy. When you have the Fool, I could pick up the Empress, but we're going to go with the Sun because that's where my eye fell. You have something like this. What's not to look forward to every day is a damn gift. I mean, it really is beautiful. And it's also a an energy of really releasing resistance to anything. It's being in flow. And as you're in flow, things come easy. You know, there's no struggle here. There's no pushing against, no working against. And so with the sun... It is a card of synergy. So in terms of a relationship, you've got a really important relationship in this reading. It's beautiful. It grows and it's deep. There's a depth here. I'm falling in love with whoever this is. I don't even know who they are. But anyway, <laughs> um, with the uh, with the sun here, it is a feeling too, though, of confidence, victory, achievement. It's like feeling fabulous. You know, everything's illuminated. It's one of those things when you're in a great vacation, if you like beach vacations, you know, when you're in that place where you're you're there, you're relaxed, you're through with the getting there sort of push anxiety thing, and you're just so happy to be there. It's like that every day. It's sort of like re you know reinventing that every single day. Now, too, in work, I do feel like you've got a new opportunity coming in um, with this, too. And it's an energy, if you've got a shift, there's something with that five of wands. It feels work-related to me. Um, it could be in a friend group too, but I do feel like it's like there's a shift away from that. So with the, the energy and the synergy of the sun, it's like you'll know exactly who you're good at working with and you won't, you're, you're going to gravitate and attract people that meet, that match this, okay? So you'll find that the people pulled in to work with you will be a match. And so if there's been some conflict, I do see somebody getting moved around here. And the five two, I mean, it it is a change in the tarot. Um, there may be some uncertainty here, but I feel like it brings relief if it's somebody who has not been a real team player at work. Um, now, they may decide, too, for some of you, they may get a job that feels better to them as well. And it's kind of like a mutual parting of ways. But with this five, it's it's changing and leaving behind the drama, any conflict that should should arise. I mentioned earlier, it may be in a friendship group, but I feel like it's almost like a encapsulated into a very, very short period of time, like a one night out kind of a thing. So be careful with that, especially with the Empress here, because she's indulgent and so is the fool energy. So especially if it's like people are getting a an Uber or whatever, a cab to go out and have a few drinks, 
be careful not to get pulled into that kind of conflict when you're out. That can sometimes happen when people are dehydrated and drinking and stuff. Um, but overall, you do have a beautiful energy around you. So the world is that new phase. And it's like a, you know, a turn of, of good fortune in your favor. It's feeling on top of the world. It's feeling like you have an unlimited uh, connection to source. It's like things just keep happening that are moving things forward. So in a relationship it, with the two of cups here and the empress too, especially if you've had a relationship and you're looking to have a family, you're looking to move things forward in a more committed way. Here it is. It's also though, even though she's the dancer in this wreath of victory, she dances in a celebratory way. This, this wreath represents a portal into the divine. So some of you, if you find that the chaos of the five of wands gets to you, quiet your mind down, you know, really get into a place of meditating regularly and you'll find that it can alleviate a lot of that. And all of a sudden the intuition comes a lot easier. It seems much clearer which way to go, what to do next. And so it's a, a wonderful energy also with the Empress here because it's a love. There's a loving energy with the Empress. Some of you too may have somebody who's a mother figure here and even though this is a warm, loving energy, I do feel like there's sort of a sense of a sharp wit or dry, sarcastic sense of humor in the reading. Um, but with the Empress, it's uh, the female creator of the material world. So there's wonderful, you have wonderfully creative ideas and openness and easiness about you. You've got it in multiple uh, cards here. I can't remember if we said... We've got water, air, fire. We've got all the elements. Okay, you've got Leo here too. Um, and so with the Empress, it's really a, a feeling of moving forward in a harmonious way, all right? So she's easygoing, but she can be a little scattered. So be careful with that. Something keeps coming up about that. I just feel like if somebody's got like a night out, just be aware of your possessions, of what you're doing, um, and it may not be you, it could just be a friend around you because she can get into that too where it's like all of a sudden you're losing your phone and your purse and all kinds of stuff. She doesn't care, but in our 3D reality, it's definitely a nuisance to have that happen. So the Knight of Pentacles comes in with that offer. And this is, I often say it's that measure twice, cut once kind of energy. It's very precise energy. And so sometimes it gets a bad rap for slow moving but it's really about being clear about what you want. And I actually like it with the Empress and the Fool because it balances that out. So in terms of a relationship, it's like there's love here, but there's enough level-headedness not to do something really crazy. You know, it's like moving forward in a way that still keeps you in alignment with your goals, your hopes, your dreams. And wanting to really look into the future, see how things, you know, come together with another person. But in terms of work, too, there's long-term success here. So whatever changes are going to go on with that five of wands, even if it's like some dumb rules, I'm now getting that a little bit, it makes things much more stable and it makes things seem much more productive. I get that too. So if you felt like you had some kind of rules over you at work where it felt like it was just a a rule that wasn't well thought out, I do see that being removed. So it's like your hands were constantly being tied and that might just be for one of you. But with the two of uh, cups here, you've got a reciprocal energy and this can apply to, to career life too. It's really a mutual offering, right? And so it's, for some, it may represent an unexpected meeting. If you haven't met this love of your life, here it is. And they want the same things. I mean, they really, it really is an energy of high compatibility for sure. Um, it makes sense, you know, and it feels like the next right thing to do. So there's uh, an opportunity here as well for work. We've already talked about that a little bit, but it definitely feels like You'll feel like you're being compensated for what you do. And there, for some of you too, it may involve a raise with that Knight of Pentacles. If you've been loyal and you feel like, hey, I've been um, putting the time in here doing things, you know, now all these other places are offering such high wages for new workers. Well, if they're coming in and getting, you know, a higher starting rate, you may find you have an opportunity here to get more 
uh, compensation too. So the Queen of Swords is an excellent energy to communicate. You'll have exactly the right words uh, available to you if it's something work-related. And your delivery will be excellent. It's very difficult to argue with her and win. In fact, it's almost impossible. It's an energy, too, of clarity, of knowing what you want. So if you've had some uncertainty with that Five of Wands, things get a lot clearer. And it also helps you to manifest. So, you know, if you're just saying, I don't know if I need somebody removed at work. I just want to be happy at work. Or I just want to be feel the freedom of the world, the Empress and the Fool, and even the Sun in my relationship. This helps you to really get into that sense. So the Fool shows up when you have a big transition. So we've got the last and the first major arcana. And really the major arcana are, these are here to teach you the lessons in life that you need to go through to be in your wholeness, that wholeness of, of what you really are. And so the fool releases all resistance. So in a relationship, you jump in with both feet. Like I said, there's a really if it's a if it's a reconciliation, it's like a, a fresh, new, clean slate. There's a new beginning here, and it, the fool is always the soul is always victorious, and so it can be a little bit of a decadent energy, you know, this sort of impulsive energy, not really caring. It's like calling in sick to go on a weekend getaway and then applying seventy or a hundred sunscreen so they can't tell you've been out in the sun. <laughs> You know, he does things and then goes, oh, God, but they're going to be able to tell. Um, so with a fool, though, it is freedom. OK, I don't want to negate it. It really is a free energy and it allows you to move forward into this place of expansion. I mean, there's it's like the sky is the limit in this energy field for you, Sagittarius. It's beautiful. So um, not that I would ever call in sick. I don't I don't have a job where the hours that would that would ever need to happen, I guess. <laughs> but I, ha I did know somebody who once called in sick to go skiing and they broke their uh, the bottom part of their leg and came back on crutches. But whatever, you know, it's like they can't really ask how she did it. Um, so <laughs> I'm not advising you to do that either, by the way. I'm just saying it happens, okay? So, in fact, I think I was advising not to do that. All right, it's up to you, they say. Um, so, of course it is. You create your own reality. You get what you are. So, know that everything around you is a, a result of you. You've got helpful people. And you've got big, happy changes. I've not seen this card in ages. It's nice to re reunite with big, happy changes within the next few weeks. So, there's definitely momentum coming here for you. Don't stop, okay? Good things are on the way, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.